doing the show. It's going to be an excellent one today. And we are going to start out with somebody who is the director of Museum Outreach. Did I get that right? Close that was pretty close over there, Director of Museum Outreach. This is Randall Fastbend from OMSI, and he is going to do a little something about Bernoulli baseball. How many people know how to play, uh, like, throw a, uh, a curveball, slider, all that kind of stuff? Well, you're going to find out right now. Let's give it up for Randall. Come on out here. that's moving, we have a lower pressure. How does that relate to baseball? Well, note the relative size difference here. I did a demonstration of Bernoulli's baseball at the Portland Beavers baseball uh, game, before the game, and I needed to supersize when I'm talking about a curveball. This does not transmit very far, but this does. And it also can curve. So, you who have a ball, stand up. If you have a ball, please stand up. <laughs> Pick out a person. A beach ball. Wave to that person who's close to you. And that's going to be, you're going to play catch. And when I tell you, I want you to toss it to that person, all right? I'm going to pick out this person right here. You're going to be left. Okay. We're going to play catch, all right? Got a person? Catch. All right. Now, throw it back. Excellent! What forces do we have in play there? We've got a force behind the ball, right? We have a force behind the ball that accelerates it and gets it moving. Once it's in the air, what forces are at work on it then? Come on, raise your hand. Gravity! Gravity is going to pull it down, back down to Earth. All right, excellent. We also have friction, yeah. So note, as I throw it, what's your name please? Alex? As I throw it to Alex, nice soft throw, it goes up and it comes down. We see it slow down a bit with friction. We see gravity take it and pull it back down. That's great. Now we want it to curve, it is curving. But it's curving due to those forces, gravity and friction. But if I want it to change its course, have it change its course, what do I do? Everyone. Spin. spin it. So I'm going to spin it this time. And the nice thing about using beach balls is it has these different colors so we can see the spin. Are you ready, Alex? Yes. All right. Oh. Oh. Just a little outside. Just a little outside. <laughs> Thank you, umpire, Jonah Cohen. All right, I'm going to try to get it to you now. So now I have to reshift. I have to calibrate. I have to like think, okay, I'm going to send it over this way, and it should come back to you. Here we go. Woo! All right. So please stand up with that ball. Find that person who's your, your catcher, and I want you to try that. Spin it and throw it. Please. Come on in, folks. Come on in. Find a place to sit down. <laughs> 
Let's see what's going on there. The ball is going through, being thrown through the air, which is, for Vernon Lee's principles, is like a fluid. It's spinning. I'm spinning it this way this time. Is the pressure of the air, as it goes through, the pressure on the side of the ball, is it greater or lesser on this side? As it's spinning this lesser. way. Lesser. <laughs> There's another effect called the Magnus effect that might be in play here. I cannot prove it because I can't see the air moving around it. But the Magnus effect has the air, as this spins, air will also spin around with it and, and will also be a part of that friction. So we have higher pressure building up on this side as it moves through the air. Curious enough, we have lower pressure on this side because as the air hits the side of the ball, it just gets, scoots fine. So Bernoulli's principle that a moving fluid has a lower pressure directly has a force 90 degrees to the, to the throw. So we have a curveball. Did you get that? All right. So now, but nobody likes to pitch that way consistently because it's in the plane that if somebody were to bat, it didn't matter whether you were to throw a curveball or not. You'd hit it. So most curveballs are at an angle. So I'll turn it this way and see if I can throw it this way. Here we go. And another way to do it is turning it this way so that it dies down. And this is the hard one. So if you want a rising fastball, you go the other way. And this is pretty common. It's how yeah, you might see it come in and it'll scoop up. Or, let's find out. <laughs> so these forces are in play whenever you throw the ball and spin it. Why don't you stand up one more time and try this. Spin it one way, spin it overhand, spin it underhand. Let's all be watching to see what happens. <laughs> Jonah. Hello. Oh. oh. Sorry. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> All right. Okay, hang on to the ball. And hopefully you know a little bit more about the curveballs. 